duties we call on the Lord our God. Thank you. 
mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me, I absolve you from all your sins, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Show us your mercy, Lord. And your Lord, hear our prayer. And the Lord be with you. Let us pray. Grant, most gracious Father, that with purity of heart we may worthily fulfill this holy action, establish in remembrance the Last Supper and the death of Jesus Christ, and for our sanctification and salvation. Be present among us, Jesus, our most perfect Master, because you said that where two or three are gathered together in my name, you are among them. We also ask, Lord, that through this holy liturgy we may experience a spiritual revival and a better understanding of your holy will, bringing us together in one great family, guided by your commandments and by love, truth, and justice. Amen. And at this point, the congregation would say, because he considered him faithful who had promised. Therefore, from one person, and this one as good as dead, descendants were born, as many as the stars of heaven and as the innumerable grains of sand by the seashore. All of these died in faith without having received the promises, but from a distance they saw and greeted them. They confessed that they were strangers and foreigners on earth. For people who speak in this way make it clear that they are seeking a homeland. If they had been thinking of the land that they had left behind, they would have had an opportunity to return. But as it is, they desire a better country, that is, a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God. Indeed, he has prepared a city for them. By faith, Abraham, when put to the test, offered up Isaac. 
He who received the promises was, re was ready to offer up his only son, of whom he had been told, it is through Isaac that descendants shall be named after you. He considered the fact that God is able even to raise someone from the dead, and figuratively speaking, he did receive him back. This is the word of God. Faith is the realization of what is hoped for and evidence of things not seen. Because of it, the ancients were well attested. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Anyone who approaches God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. Cleanse my heart and my lips, Almighty oh God, as you cleanse the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal. In your mercy, cleanse me so I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Eternal rest grant unto them, the Lord. May they rest in peace. May the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat>
in a great congregation, I will bless them. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Receive this offering, of the Holy Trinity, which we make in remembrance of the Passion, Resurrection, and Ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, in honor of the Blessed Mother Mary and all the saints, that it may add to their honor and aid our salvation. May they, whose memory we honor on earth, intercede for us in heaven. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be accepted to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord receive the sacrifice to your Lord, Lord our God, accept these gifts of bread and wine, and the offering also of ourselves. By your grace, renew us that we may fittingly thank you, for you have made us your heirs. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. teacher and bear the covenant of drawing to a close, he gathered into the upper room all those whom he had loved in a singular way, and they chose to continue his work of salvation. 
He spoke to them words of deep love, longing, and resolve. I will not leave you orphaned. I will come back to you. I am the way and the truth and the life. You are my friends if you do what I command you. Do not be distressed or fearful. You will suffer in the world, but take courage. I have overcome the world. If you live in me, and my words stay a part of you, you may ask what you will, and it will be done for you. Anyone who loves me will be true to my word. And my Father will love him, we will come to him, and make our dwelling place with him. I consecrate myself for their sakes now, that they may be consecrated in truth, that they all may be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you. I pray that they may be one in us, that the world may believe that you sent me, I have given them the glory you gave me, that they may be one, as we are one. I living in them, you living in me, and their unity may be complete. Father, all those you gave me, I would have in my company, where I am to see this glory, of, where I am to see this glory of mine, which is your gift to me, because of the love you bore me before the world began. I myself am the bread of life. No one comes to me. No one who comes to me shall ever be hungry. No one who believes in me shall ever thirst. After these and other words of the archpriestly prayer and with holy fervor, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven, to you, O God, to you, his almighty Father, giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hand. Again he gave thanks to you, blessed it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. resurrection and glorious ascension, receive from your own gifts and presents a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. These gifts we receive with a joyful countenance as from him who is the giver of all temporal and eternal good gifts, and with an unshakable faith that they will become for our souls a saving remedy. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, to command that our offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your highest altar into the presence of your divine majesty. That we who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who have passed on to eternity. Lord, and to all who rest in Christ, grant everlasting life, and to those that are in life straight to the path of righteousness, unmindful of your fatherly love, mercifully shorten their suffering. We ask this in the name of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants, with hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part of fellowship in your holy apostles and martyrs, and all your saints, who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy and with lives patterned after their divine master, merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. For whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, and in him, all honor and glory of yours, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching, and follow it. 
divine example, we say with confidence, Shall I return unto the Lord for all the graces that he has given me? I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon the Lord, and I shall be saved from all my sins. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring me to everlasting life.
Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy to you. So I say the word.
His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant, since you are faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, by the grace of your holy word and this holy Eucharist, enable us wisely to use the time, ability, and possessions that you have entrusted to us, so we may be faithful stewards and come to know eternal joy with you. We ask this for our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. which I, though unworthy, have offered in the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you. Through your mercy may be effective for myself and all those for whom I have offered it. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through Him all things came to be, and apart from Him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in Him found life, life for the light of men. The light shines on in darkness, a darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John sent by God, who came as a witness to testify to the light, so that through him all might believe, but only to testify to the light, for he himself was not the light. The real light which gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through him the world was made. Yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. And then he who did accept him, he empowered to become the children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who were begotten not by blood, nor by kind of desire, nor by man's holiness, but by God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of an only Son, coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Thank you, God.